Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here. Welcome back to another video. So today I wanna give you guys a bit of a news roundup on everything happening around the release of season seven. So for those of you who saw my visual recoil video the other day, we do have some new comments from DICE there that should hopefully put some of your fears to rest if you have any, some people liked that, some didn't. And then the season seven trailer has been announced with a mysterious reference to water. And apparently it is going to make vehicle enthusiasts very happy. So that includes me. Before we begin though, if you guys do enjoy the content here on the channel, hit up that subscribe button. There'll be plenty more to come here on season seven and beyond. And you can bet that if there is a new vehicle, this will be the place to come for gameplay and guides on it. So as always, cheers for the support guys. It's appreciated. So in my last video, I told you guys how DICE announced that Visual Recoil will be getting a tune-up come Season 7, all in the name of Realism and Gunfeel. If you guys want to check that video out, I will link it for you now. Some of you guys liked it, others not so much, but there was one sentence that really started to worry people a lot. Now this is paraphrased by the Battlefield Bulletin here, but I believe the original comment was from a dev in the official Battlefield Discord. And he says, DICE has also pointed out that visual recoil improvements don't have 0% effect on where bullets go, but spread is not being removed. So it's a mix between recoil shown and visual recoil where bullets will match where your weapon or reticle is aiming at and sometimes they won't. So like what this sounds like is on top of spread, a mechanic that already sends your rounds in unpredictable directions, the visual recoil will be essentially another layer on top of that if you like. However, just yesterday, Catilio, who works at DICE, not sure what he does there, but he had this to say. Your aim point or reticle will work as it does right now. You won't have a bullet going where you're not aiming, excluding spread and dispersion, of course. So now it sort of sounds like they're saying visual recoil won't introduce any random bullet deviation. In any case, I'm simply going to wait and see how this plays out when I get my hands on Season 7, and I'll give you my feedback then. Now, moving on, we finally have a release timing, or at least a rough release window, for Season 7. So DICE uploaded this little teaser on Twitter, stating that the trailer will go live on March the 12th, next Tuesday. So release could be at the earliest the following week on March the 19th, but my guess is that we'll instead get some more drip-fed information, possibly some exclusive gameplay from content creators, and then they'll leave the release until the last week of March, likely the Tuesday on the 26th, in classic DICE fashion. However, one interesting detail about this little teaser are the bullet casings sinking through the water. Did any of you guys notice that? Does this mean anything? You know, is water going to be a big focal point on one of these two new maps? After all, the one we know about is set in Chile. It's fairly close to the coast. Maybe even, dare I say it, boat gameplay? Yeah, I know, probably not right, but a guy can dream. Okay, so as I was working on this video, DICE have actually just dropped a new lore post on the EA website. Link down below for that if you want to read the entire thing if you're interested in lore. But it basically comes with a new screenshot of the map and this is what they have to say. Early this morning, coalition forces reached Chilean shores and began the push inland. They've made no illusions over their intended target, a lithium mining town in the Atacama Desert. At first seemingly innocuous, the village of El Alicanto harbors a secret, access to one of the largest aquifers in the world. Now, if you just said, what the hell is an aquifer? Don't worry, you're not alone. That's exactly what I said. So an aquifer, is a body of porous rock or sediment saturated with groundwater and the groundwater enters an aquifer as precipitation seeps through the soil and it can then move through the aquifer and resurface through springs and wells so basically it's an underground water supply to me and you so maybe that explains the water theme here maybe we won't be getting boats after all however going back to the vehicle stuff here battlefield's lead vehicle designer reposted the trailer on Twitter and he said there's going to be some good stuff for vehicle enthusiasts in this season. So he could be referring to boats but I think now it's more likely that he is referring to the Su-70 drone from that Chinese leak the other day. Now if you need to catch up on that leak once again the video is in the corner but I've been thinking about that. 
perhaps this aircraft won't even be pilotable at all, and it'll be some sort of call-in that's specific to a certain flag or an objective, similar to things that we've seen in Battlefield games in the past. Now, if that is the case, I will be sorely disappointed, but, you know, I'm trying to temper my expectations here. I will say this, though. What was contained in that leak the other day that first had me feeling quite sceptical, I would say, it's really started to grow on me, and I think it could actually be spot on. As Temporial pointed out here, the SCZ-3 weapon could simply be Battlefield 2042's name for the CZ-3A1, aka the Scorpion, and then they also mentioned, of course, the AK-5C and the SRAW, along with the SU-70 vehicle. In any case, next week we're going to get the trailer, and we're going to see all of this stuff. I can only assume we're going to get our first look at the second map here. I really don't think the second map is going to release. I think they're just going to do the first map on the Season 7 release, and then the second one will come halfway through the season, which honestly I'm fine with. I don't mind the content being broken up a little bit. However, if the leak is correct and we are indeed only getting those two weapons and then a new gadget and a new vehicle, I don't think people are going to be too happy with that. Despite the fact that we are getting two maps, let's remember we've waited twice as long as we normally would for this season so really in my mind we should be getting like six weapons and two gadgets two vehicles right i definitely don't see any of that happening but hopefully there's going to be more than two weapons in there now speaking of the second map though i have heard rumors the word on the street is that it could be the stadium from the hourglass map returning i know a lot of people really enjoyed fighting over that area on hourglass and they were kind of bummed when it got taken out of the game so i think that would please a lot of players at the same time though i really hope they're going to do something more with it not just like take the stadium put it in a new section of desert and call that a new map if that's what they do i'm going to be really disappointed in that but if you remember the very first reveal that season seven was a thing they had those two maps on the table one of them had an arrow pointing to chile the other one seemed to be pointing to somewhere in the middle east very close to doha qatar and i assumed that it was going to be somewhere close to that but what if it actually is that exact same location? That could also explain why they haven't really made much of a fuss about the second map yet. Maybe they aren't doing that to keep things under wraps. It's just the fact that the second map is essentially a map or a part of a map that we've already played. Obviously, this is sheer speculation on my part, so I'm not sure if there's anything to this, but I guess time will tell. In any case, guys, I just wanted to fill you in on the details and what has been happening. Like I said, if you guys missed the videos about the visual recoil and this Chinese leak, I will leave links to those down below, so feel free to go and check them out. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you all in the next video.